What's falling from the sky? That's the question some workers at one Fraser plant are wondering. More than 100 workers are complaining about damages to their vehicles. Dremont Terry is live tonight with how they say another factory is to blame. What's this all about? Karen, about three weeks ago, workers at uh, this plant tell me that they started noticing a rust-like substance covering their vehicles while they were parked in this industrial park. And the removing those materials is a pricey fix. Bob Navarro loves his Ford F-1 pickup, but these days he isn't happy with how it looks. <laughs> I'm absolutely mad. I have brown particles of rust all over my truck and not just a little bit. Take a close look. You can see brown or orange specks ingrained in the paint. When Navarro first noticed the orange buildup, he thought it was just his truck. Bob here is uh, first one that come forth with the with the problem. Cast iron shot. But when he mentioned it to his co-workers who used the same parking lot, something clicked. Within a week and a half, next thing I know, this person, that person, this person, then it went like mad through one day everybody went out at noon looked at their vehicles and everybody noticed as it was on their vehicles just trying to wash the vehicle it's not coming off the vehicle these workers believe this company next door is causing the problem form tech on 15 mile road in fraser produces metal car parts it's not us the plant manager says they checked and even called the state to examine the dust collector our investigation with the dust collector and everything else showed that there's nothing wrong with uh, the dust collector or anything else coming out of, uh, out of our facility. These workers aren't convinced, but they want some answers. What needs to be done to get this problem corrected? Now, Forum Tech tells me that the Michigan DEQ did not find any problems with this facility. However, those car owners tell me that they're still waiting on the test results from the DEQ to determine how they will move forward. Reporting live in Fraser tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4.